Hi everyone, this is Paul Window. Welcome to the next video of this day guys in this lesson i will be showing you how you can create the four kind of reports that report you must need to know about to measuring your campaign through this report guys we will be cover the old metrics that is required to understand about how your campaign is working well guys in this video um, I'm going to just go down and on the screen I will be show you the first kind of report that's the CTR report basically click through rate how we can measure it click through rate for each company it is a matrix by itself but you can easily understand how you can uh, find it out and you can easily measure it how many impressions I have and how many um, reach I have in the last video as I mentioned you so if you're on the screen guys how you can bring the old matrix down here and how you can adjust it so here if you will be see this column guys through this column uh, you will be find that column in right corner of your admin issue as well so we are going to uh, work on the campaigns tab so here if you go to here guys you need to be go to the customized column right since we are just going to create this one you can adjust it so rest of the old uh, you are here impression reach you do not need frequency you just want to be go for amount spend you want to be know how much money i spend it you will be see here guys how much money you have spent it and how when your CTR for example how you can bring this all stuff right I'm going to cancel it I'm going to show you how you can do it for example guys this is your matrix you can come here and you can just write it impression so once you just bring it up you can put it here then after that you what do you need you need reach you can bring it and you click it on it that will be added for you if you want to be drag and drop you want to be go up and down you can easily do that then after that there's the formula of the ctr now we have two kind of ctr you always be go through the ctr all the ctr all and ctr link what's the difference between guys uh if you show your ads you obviously guys if you go for the ctr all um that will be bring the that will be bring the result whether you are getting the clicks on your market praise impression your instagram profile your anywhere anywhere in instagram stories facebook feed everywhere wherever the customer your client click on it that will be considered click all if you click on the only you select the ctr link click through rate which means they are talking about the particular ads you run and the people click on the particular ads that you run right and then they will be calculate that ctr so it's always go for ctr all that will be give you the exact result what you're looking for right then after that guys amount spent for example you want to be know how much money i have spent on it so that what you are looking for is so why you need to be create this ctr report because sometimes employer is asking how my ads is working right you need to be tell them that's how you need to be tell them if your ctr is going good it means that they're working well if it's below it's down as i mentioned in the last video then you need to be work out on it guys one thing remember if you want to be increase the ctr you need to be work on two parameters the two parameters is what the first is your ad your ad should be attractive so then you can get the click right in the last phases as i mentioned how you can create the ads i think you know that how you can create this all ads attractive ads so that people will click on it second what parameter you need to be work out on it it's your audience if your ad is attractive if you think your ad is fine perfectly good you're still not getting the result you need to work out on your audience that audience your dream audience called audience based on interest behavior demographic you need to be work out on it you need to be change it and check it as i mentioned you it is an art of science you need to be work out on it to getting the desired result which you or your client your employer is looking for so that's how if you want to be click this all thing you can go for through it further guys this is the main matrix you need to be now and then what you can do is you can save this one you can check it you can click this save as in a preset and write down ctr calculator 
um cal just i have another but i just put this ctr cal for training just just for you right mm -hmm. so i just put the ctr calculator and ctr report or you can put the ctr report should be fine for you right ctr report so when you come on it you can just click on it and apply so here what you can do is on the old campaign level you will be getting this result so you will be go now you will be easily find it okay i'm running the retargeting to campaign i have this impression and you can select the desired result which uh desired date from where you want to be checked then reach how many reach you have and the, what is the ctr on it right so amount spent that much you spend on it if you want to be shared that with your employers you what you can do is come through it and share with your um in the next video i will be showing you as well you can come here as well you can share that link and that link you can share with your employer your client wherever and they will be see your result further guys in the next kind of report we have is our engagement report this is the most important report as well since you running the traffic campaign you need to be know how much money i have spent it one thing how many clicks i got it because your your objective is traffic whether you are looking for landing page view whether you're looking for link clicks right so how many clicks i get it plus how much money that charge me for per link click so what i'm going to do is i'm on the screen and i'm going to show you about what i will be need to do is customize this column again i'm going to customize this column impression you can keep reach you can keep if you want or if you want to delete you can delete it ctr is one of the most important part then after that the amount spent links click right um, you need to be go through this the simple link click then further um, in the engagement report you can see it here as well guys in the engagement page post media clicks so if you come on the click you will be get a lot of metrics here that links clicks run so if you come on this link click that's all you can find it here right so we have here landing page view i want to be know how much landing page i have else so link click one more thing i want to be know is um result this is the most important part what i'm saying is actually how many link clicks i have um and further how many results i have why this results might be you're asking your question is link click is our result now guys in the last video as i mentioned you the link click is um they can be come from um your ads they can become sometime people click on the ads right they do not click on your cta button might be you have different link in your um the text and different link in your cta button that call to action button right so sometimes the the advertiser have that kind of options they have two different link but facebook actually need to know what you're looking for and then they will be give you result based on your objective i hope you understand link click is not your result right result that you define into the ad set level that you're looking for link click whether page view sometimes people um sometimes people give two kind of links one is in the ad as i mentioned you one is in the call to action so the both are different um if it, in case this is all are the one same that's fine but if the both are different then facebook give you the result that you are looking for this this is your result so i just need to be click on this result as per cost per result i'm getting so this is the most important part i need to know about it so campaign them that's fine so ctr how many uh, my uh, how my ads is working or you can come this through impression as well right so you can reach prop put the reach here sorry just the one so i put this one reach i put this impression on the top of it then i will be find the ctr after that how much money i spend it then how much how many links i click it how many landing page review i have then the finally result based on the desire whether i'm looking for landing page whether i'm looking for link clicks that what i have now how much how much i um pay to the facebook per, per result that what i'm looking for i'm just going to preset this one and write it here engagement report so in engagement report 
doing this right i already have but i'm just going to create it for you so i just apply it that one so basically one more thing guys this is depends on your objective if you are looking for link comment share you want to be know this one as well you can add this one i will be showing you in this way as well but firstly if you are looking for engagement report for your result for your traffic campaign this is the right way you can go through with it impression reach ctr for example i run that campaign in that traffic i got that impression i got this reach now ctr my this amount spent i have spent in this much money on it now you will be see it here how many links click i got it i got six thousand link click in particular that date right if you go for this last month or this month that will be give you result based on that way so i spent 336 dollars i got this much link click i got this much landing page view and this is my landing page view 116 people actually come on my page from this company and they come on my page and they view the landing and how much i paid for per landing page view is two dollars ninety cents so this is the most important part as long as guys sometimes you got a client and you will say my result is I i'm paying a lots of money can you please help me to decrease it you need to work out on the ctr if your ctr going high your cpc or your cost per result will be going down so keep these tips in your mind if your C ctr going high your cpc the whatever the cost per result will be going down right if your ctr is down your cpc or cost per result will be gonna up so this is the main thing guys and you need to be careful you need to be know about this this is the second kind of report now we have third kind of a report but in this report engagement report you have one one more one more kind of uh, objective if your objective is only to know about the page comments page views page likes so what you can do is how you can do you can put this one here in the column you can go to the customize report and you can add that page post comments and all this kind of thing for example so page comments you can put just comment post comments right so they will be tell you about how many uh comments you get it on your post post share how many shares likes so you can go you can see it, how many page likes you have these things you can add it if you want engagement on your post or on your particular ad that what is looking for right you can apply and you can see how many people click on it i don't i do not have much i have one from this campaign from this retargeting campaign i have one post comment one share and all this kind of stuff you can easily find it out based on the clients what they're looking for this is the second kind of report now we have third kind of report which we called as an lead progress report guys remember one thing if you're running the ad if your objective is conversion only this is for you so make sure that if your objective is traffic or anything else um except then your leads conversion then you do not need to be go for this report but if your objective is leads to getting the collecting the leads to um to getting the conversion then this is the perfect report for you through this lead report we will be sure you will be get how much money we spend on the campaigns how many leads we get it and how much we paying for each lead that you need to be now so guys we already created one leads report i will be show you here um what kind of metrics you need to be now and one more thing in the next phase for the lead for the lead report you need to be install your facebook pixel since facebook pixel inst install needs to be installed for every report so you need to be get for right uh, right result right but for this lead report we also be need to be set up some special events that we we can track we call it as in a track event so track conversion tracking right so in the next phase i will be show you how you can install the old pixels how you can create the standard events this would be really fun and will be enjoyable for you so through this uh, lead report uh, guys you need to be uh, understand that but again if you need to be go for this leads what you can do is you can go through this customize and find for this leads and all this stuff right so <clears throat> 
I'm going to show you this leads for example so here you will be you will be now a uh, matrix that include leads how many leads you get it and how much that would be cost you per leads so, right so you need to be understand that part or make sure that uh, if you bring the lead that would be automatically include tech so you do not need to be go to tick untick this boxes the reason being is guys for this lead they will be give you a one column and give you the whole result otherwise they will be make the three columns will be if unless you are not going to um check the particular um the particular uh, metrics you want to be know for how much how many leads i got from website how many leads i got from facebook and all this kind of stuff so you can go through with this you will be see it here guys how much money i spent from this since this is my traffic campaign this is not my conversion campaign i do not be get any lead but i'm going to show you how you can find it out so so this much money i spend it that's the link click and if you will be see it here if you run your lead campaign you will be know how much how many leads you got it and how much money you spend for each lead that what you are looking for then after that from that lead how many purchases people uh, go through with it from your web website the purchase means how much money you get it how much money how many people spend um, money on your product they bought your product actually they bought your product so right so that the purchase will come in the next report we will be going to cover this one but here you need to be understand that leads and cost per lead once you have that one you can save preset and you can share that one to your um, employer then we have set fourth kind of report is ROI report as we called as an um, ROAS guys the difference between ROAS and ROI is ROAS return on ad spend ROI basically return on investment the whole investment whether you run whether you spend on the Facebook ads whether you spend for hire any freelancer guy for your work you need to be at that much amount as well from your total cost you need to be minus but we are not going to find your our ROI we are going to find our ROAS uh, return on ad spend so you can rename this one ROAS OAS right so in this way guys here since this is also a finalized for the conversion this is um, this is metrics for the conversion campaign or if your objective is leads or conversion that is finally for them so you might do not be see it here we do not have any purchase since this is not the conversion campaign this is only the traffic campaign so guys uh, if you come through this NZIS traffic that much money I have spent it you would be know this all things check out initiate this is the matrix guys for example if people go through with your funnel sale funnel and they come on the checkout page they are about to enter their car details the Facebook will track that event so we need to be um for tracking that event we need to be set up a conversion event as well we need to be set up that event in the next video i will be showing you how you can set up the events but if you set up any tracking event on initial che initiate checkout so people is about to put the car details you can track those people so whatever you want to be tracked you can track it since i do not i don't recommend you to go for this metrics so I'm just going to teach you the main metrics will be your purchase um go through with lead this is important that will be show you how many leads you get it and from then the purchase is how much how many numbers how many people bought your products so number of the purchases you will be get it here right website purchase how many people bought the website purchase this is not for that one guys this is just for if the people we call it an attribute setting if the people come into the seven days and um, they, they see your ads and after after seeing your ads they didn't buy any product from you um, from the Facebook ad but uh, they come on the website directly and buy the product within a seven days you will be see it here website purchase Facebook have their data you can easily count it so in this metrics course per purchase they will be let you know how much money you spend to getting one purchase in the bill above video as i mentioned about the how you can uh, calculate your course per purchase now cold purchasing conversion value as i mentioned in the above video as well how you can calculate the conversion value means how much money um the people actually pay you through the ads they bought your products pays you you can see it here that would be twenty thousand dollars in the last video as i mentioned 
नहीं है फाइनली आर ओ ए एस फाइनली हाउ वी कैन कैलकुलेट द आर ओ ए एस दिस आर ओ एस का एस रिटर्न ऑन एट 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 स्पेंड द टोटल रेवेन्यू टोटल परचेज कन्वर्जन वैल्यू यू हैव माइनस एड स्पेंड और डिवाइड द एड स्पेंड द वुड बी गिव यू डिवाइड द एड स्पेंड द वुड बी गिव यू एक्चुअल फिगर हाउ मेनी टाइम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ यू पे वन डॉलर एंड हाउ मच मनी यू रिटर्न बैक इन रिटर्न द वुड बी शो यू आर ओ एस सो आई होप द वुड बी हेल्प यू सो यू कैन सेव दैट रिपोर्ट एज सेम सेफ प्रीज एंड फाइनली यू कैन शेयर दैट रिपोर्ट विद थ्रू दिस शेयर लिंक एंड will be really helpful for you so this is the report you need to be know guys it's very simple and just go through with it since you are running the traffic campaign you do not need to be bother about uh, this purchase conversion and our roi report as well as lead generation report you do not need to be worried about you need to be put focus on your ctr to bring up your ctr and make make put focus on the engagement report that will be tell you how much money you spend and how much um traffic you got it through this campaign so i hope that will be help you out guys in the next video i will be show you how you can optimize your old ads campaign that will be really helpful for you to bring out the old result desired result that what you're looking for i hope that will be help you out so see you in the next day i'm going to show you how you can optimize your campaign will be really helpful for you thank you so much guys see you tomorrow